Bhagavad Gita, verse 2.20 The soul neither takes birth, nor does he die, nor is he affected by the repeated growth and trundling of the body. He is unborn, eternal, and ever existing. Though primeval, he remains ever youthful. When the body is destroyed, the soul is not annihilated. Sar Ardavarshini To establish the eternality of the soul, Sri Bhagavan is speaking this verse beginning with the word Na Jayati Mriyati, in which it is proven that there is never a time when the soul is born or dies. That there was no birth or death for the soul in the past, nor will there be in the future, is proven by the words Nayam Bhutva Bhavita. Sri Bhagavan is further explaining by the use of the word Ajaha, unborn, that the soul does not take birth in the past, present or future. Thus he establishes that the jiva also existed in the past. The word Shashvataha means that which is ever existent and not destroyed in the past, present or future. Therefore, the jiva atma is eternal. If one still raises a doubt that because the soul exists for a long time, he may be overpowered by old age, Sri Bhagavan says in response, No, that is not true, because he is Puranaha. This means that although he is primeval, he is ever fresh and free from the six types of transformations including birth and death. If someone then raises the question, will the soul not die, even figuratively, at the death of the body? Sri Krishna answers, no, the soul has no relationship at all with the body. Sar Ardhavarshini Prakashika Riti The eternal nature of the soul has been established in this verse. He is beyond birth and death, and he is eternal and ever existing. He is not destroyed when the body is destroyed. Consequently, the soul is devoid of the six types of transformations of the material body. Birth, duration of existence, growth, procreation, diminution and death. In the Katha Upanishad 1.2.18, a similar conclusion is given. The meaning of this verse is the same as Gita 2.20, but here the word vipashchit is used, which means one who knows the self. Priyat Aranyaka Upanishad 4.4.25 also verifies this conclusion. Sava Isha Mahan Aja Atmacharo maro mrityo bayaha. The Atma is indisputably great, unborn, deathless, free from old age, immortal and fearless.